Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to, I believe, your fourth Adobe Audition tutorial. And just to warn you, this is going to be like super boring, so just deal with it. Alright, so basically I'm just going to teach you how to rearrange the looks of this everything here. So as you can see, we have uh, we have files here that we've created, a bunch of garbage. We have the multi-track session here, and then we have a little toolbar at the top, media browser, and then we have some other tabs, which I just X out of one right here. And then down here we have the history and the video. And then down here we have levels which you can ha make this re uh, monitor like your recording levels or anything. And then a section, this will tell you where your bar is and stuff. So if you need to uh, go back to what it was like, we can go works window, workspace, reset default. And this will bring us back to the original view of how I have it currently. So now, um, here all of these things we have open, such as the mixer here, you can retrieve, retrieve these by opening the window tab and selecting one. So let's say I want a playlist thing, I opened a new playlist tab. So as you can see, we can open new things and we can also X out of things by clicking the little X. Now maybe you don't like the way this is all set up and you want something moved. Well as you can see we have four little, um, we have a bunch of little boxes. We have a box here, a box here, a box here, a giant box here, and like a little line down here. Well, two boxes. So these are our panels. And then within the panels, we have some tabs, you see? So what we can do is we can grab a tab and we can drag it between um, other boxes. So I can, I can take the markers tab and bring it down to this box. So now the markers is down here. I can also bring it down here and add it to the levels box, or the panel, as I, I should say. So now I have these down here, which isn't really enough room, so I'm bringing this back up here. So that's pretty cool. So, but what, what, what we can, but what we can do is we can actually modify this more by completely changing the panels. For example, if I want this in its own separate box, when I drag it down here, you can see there's five spots I can place it: the top, left, bottom, right, and the middle. Now if I put it in the middle, this is just going to keep it how it is. This is the same as dragging it up here to the tool, uh, the little tab bar. So if we drag it down here to the middle, it's going to add it to this tab bar right here. So placing it here and here does the same thing. Bam. So now you can see the markers is up here and the properties is now the main tab. But what do the other boxes do? You can see if I want it to be between these, if I want the markers to be between these two boxes, I can actually drag it to this box, this blue triangle trapezoid looking, not a trapezoid, what are those things called? I can't remember. But if I, if I do that, it'll bring it to its own tab, but it's already its own tab. So let me take the properties and drag it down here. And you can see now I have properties, markers, and the history, all in three separate tabs. So that's pretty stupid, so I'm just going to X out of these and you can see this automatically grew to take up the whole spot. So another thing we can do is take between two bars or two uh, panels and drag to resize. So if I need this master multi-track to be larger, I can just shrink everything else. I can also completely X out of these and it'll make itself larger. So now it takes up the whole screen. And I can also get rid of these levels down here because to see, just to show you that uh, we can make this pretty big. So that's pretty cool. So let's go back to how it was because that looks pretty crappy. Yes, I'm sure. That's cool. So now I want to teach you about the workspaces. So basically we can modify this how we like it. So I'm, I'm going to set the levels over here, which I don't even know if I'm going to use these, but eh, I'll set that there. I'm going to drag this over some. I like the files being here, but I don't really need the effects. I'll leave the markers up. I'll get into those sometime soon. X out of the properties, and the history, and the video, because I don't need those. Now this, I'm also going to drag over here. So just like that. And actually, no, I think I like that down there better. Oh yeah, what you can also do is if you drag it off the screen like this and then place it, it can be a flo its own floating window and to put it back you can click this little um, tab here and we can uh, sorry this little uh, I don't even know what it's called 
it looks like a little dotted square if you can even see it here let me zoom in but what you can do is you can grab that so if I make this its own if it's its own floating window I can take this to, and drag it back to replace it so that's pretty cool if you need to if you have like two, two monitors you can drag one off to the side to make things really easier so it's like oh no what do I do how do I get it back we we'll just grab this place it there so that's cool now once you have it the way you like it and I'm gonna drag this down here Bang. and I'm going then you go to window workspace and you can new, create a new workspace so Caleb the video maker 2 okay so that's my workspace pretty sweet I know I know you're totally jealous so now when let's say I, I screw something up I X out of this oh no it's gone forever what do I do well, what I can do is I can go to window workspace reset Caleb the video maker 2 and it's back to how it was so that's workspaces and moving around tables I mean not tables darn it ah, panels I always forget that word so yeah, that's what you need to know to move things around and customize the layout. And I will be getting into some more of this in the future. So subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.